Hello everybody, today I'll be showing you some of the other items I have from Tomica and Tomica owned companies like Parallel, Parallel. So that's their trains. So the trains that kind of go along with the Tomicas. I don't know names of trains, so I can't tell you what the heck these things are. Uh, I would say they're kind of to scale to a car. I got the track here. They're all, um, they're... oh, there we go. See, they, they move. They all work. This one's not working too good for a reason. Um, see, they work. So we got the two bullet trains, which is what Japan's known for with their trains. We got one freight train here. They're all licensed trains. I just can't tell you what they are. <laughs> and this one actually came with a car to put a car on. Well, a train car to fit Atomica. So that fits nicely in there. A little flatbed and then box van and stuff. So there's some of the trains. That's some of the train accessories over there. Giant station and such. But we're gonna look at some of the car accessories. And before I get into this, I want to say that the next challenge is JDM cars. So if you don't have any Tomicas to show off, then JDM cars. Then the second closest thing, right? Um. Oh, and this is also what I want to show you. I forgot to bring this down for all the other Tomicas, but. These are little mystery boxes. They're little police cars. So I was hoping I would get the Subaru Legacy. Because you guys know how um, I am with these un unmarked police cars. I, especially from Tomica. I do love them a lot. And that's, ended up, that's what I got. The undercover police car. So, yeah. Very nice details, and oh, you know what the best part is? Suspension. When I first got that, I'm like, no way. No way does that have suspension. Oh, oh yeah, that's where the truck stays up there, because it kind of, because it's white, white on the gray, and then gray on the white. But. Uh, we'll show you a couple things here. First, I got the gas station. So the cars can come up to the gas station. You can stand up a little figure there. And just, I don't know, police officer. Yes, it's a police officer. A little police officer. So you can stick a figure right in this little groove and they'll stay up. And you can actually take the gas pump off and make them hold it. The police officer is filling up cars today. Uh, coming over here, we got the fire department. The little firefighter is standing outside. Now these guys can actually, uh, their, their heads completely rotate. Uh, these guys can actually sit up in here on the top of the fire station. Or kind of the upstairs in there. They're kind of the commanders. Where did the fire extinguisher go? I don't know, but there was a little fire extinguisher that I kept up there too. I don't know where the heck it went. Actually, it wasn't little. It's as big as the person. But then down below them, actually shut the glass. I see them in there. Down below, that's where the vehicle's parked. So if we're taking a look at some of this thing, first, the first thing you notice is obviously the sidewalk with hair on it. And we got trees, guardrails, and a speed limit sign. Uh, and a light post. And there are two types of guardrails. This one with the divot, and this one that's just completely flat crossed. The divot one is obviously for the vehicles to ramp up the, the driveway into the stations and stuff. So you, you can pull them into the fire station Shut the door. It's got an actual 
door too. Ugh. The ladder sometimes gets caught. I should have put a different vehicle in there. See, you can shut the door, and then this thing does have lights and sounds. I don't know if you wanna listen to that right now. Then when there's the emergency, you press that button and it kicks them out. It makes the whole bottom of the station lift up. Like that. So you press down and then they go. So obviously like um, play effects and stuff. If I want to take all the fire trucks and just park them out. I can do so. Moving on to the garage right next door to the fire station. See, this garage is pretty neat. Because if I want to pull this toy up in here, and I can lift it up, and I can take the little guy, kind of put him under there like he's working on the car. There. So he's like working under there. And then you can always pull a car in there. He's probably waiting to get serviced or park him over here with the two giggle heads. Talking. Little mechanics. Uh, this building, I'll just take it off because it's in kind of a bad position to show. It's like a pharmacy or something. I kind of use it as a supermarket. but it's like a little pharmacy and see this little vent on the roof? Well, that's a button. So the door slides open. It's just like real sweet. So uh, if you dared to, you can just drive a car right into the pharmacy. Oops, this open. Open. There, uh oh, someone crashed their Nissan Leaf into the pharmacy. And that's how the buildings sit. So that's the little foundation for them. So it sits nice and flush in with the rest of the parking lot. Here's another garage. It's just like the fire station. Oh, the door opens too. It's literally the same model as the fire station, but just no top part. And that top part comes off the fire station anyway. The same function with the door and the little launch ramp. I kind of keep like the service isk vehicles here, the Toyotas. Um, I have a couple cars on the road too. Taxi. Over there is the hospital. A little helicopter on the roof. And actually, there's a little light on the roof there. It's kind of hard to see because I have all the lights on in this room though. Uh, we got all the ambulances outside the hospital uh, and the little handicapped van. But and then these things are little launchers for the emergency vehicles. I'm going to move this taxi. It's going to get mauled. You can um, see. Press that little red button. And they go. So um, that's pretty cool. This, I also put it on the side of the road and use it for like the cop cars to launch out after someone. This right here is a parking lot that I made, uh, kind of based off of, um, like the dream, the dream customs, dream customs, like padded parking lot. This is just paper and I designed it up so I can do car meets here. Like little car show diorama and stuff. So yeah, this, this, these buildings are good for diorama. They're really realistic. Next to it, I have an actual Japanese parking lot here. Filled with Toyotas. With the signage and here's the little, little lift gate. So actually I forgot a spot. The car goes to leave. You press down on the key and it lifts up. So it's a little key that you insert, pop it open. Get the pro box back, and then this, these things, they're broken. Just so you know, they're broken. They, they stay up here. They're not supposed to stay up here. They're, so what they will with the blue piece will stay on the ground. 
So this car backs up onto the blue piece and it lifts it up for another car to park underneath. This car can come up and park underneath, but say the person with the crown comes back and it's up in the air. Well, it'll, it'll take the Prius and like drop it underground so the car up on the top here can come down. You can take it and then it'll pop the Prius back up. So that's a pretty cool design by, um, like that's a cool little Japanese technology there. They're big with their technology. Um, so we got the realistic road. I love taking pictures here for like dioramas and stuff. I did put a lot of cars out already. That's just a little parking lot I made myself with extra sidewalks. Kind of like as a dealership, little dealership parking lot. That's why the car carries there. And then we got this big behemoth. Little fire, well not little, it's huge. Fire truck. So I can kind of show you around this thing. These little crates come off. This one is a is a like a crane. So this is a Tomica pro product. So we got the little crane for kind of emergencies. This is kind of a flip up with controls. And I'll put the crane away. Spin it the wrong way. And it does have these little nectars. We'll get to that in a second. This here is a little car carrier trailer. So you well, what, what they do is, this is how you load it. This is what they say how to load it. You bring a car up the ramp on this trailer. The ramp kind of goes up like this. The truck comes back and it kind of locks in. If I can get the lock in like that. It, mine doesn't really stay. It's very worn out. It'll lock in and then the car comes up onto the top of this truck and then can drive off the truck onto the thing. So the truck can probably just carry it where it needs to go and then bring it off onto the top here. And then these side protection rails come up like so. That's the top. And then how they say to load the bottom is again using the ramp. Take the car, load it up here. You can probably park it onto the trailer itself. And then you kind of slide the ramp. The ramp fits right in there. So you back the car back down the ramp into the trailer and you can actually pop these things to stop it. There, the car's in there. We move the trailer and bring these gates, slide these little gates out and they lock in. And boom, so now we got the Outlander on the bottom, Pajero on the top. So there's two ways that this thing can be delivered. One way is you can pull out the little clip on the bottom and hook it to the truck. See, they connect right there. So you can tow it around like that. And obviously this one connects too. We're not going to do that. But another way is you load it onto the trailer itself. Pajero's not going to stay. There's no way for it to stay up there. You load it up the ramp onto the trailer like that. And the ramp folds up. And then you snap it on to the trailer. So it is, it's a very complex toy for that. That's why I use it as like a display matter. I mean, that's if you actually, if you just want to like pick the car up and put them up there. I mean, like really. But that is it, I think, guys. We got the siren up here. But that is it. That's a look at the Tomica Town. Or Tomica Town. 
A lot of people say Tomica, so then it rubs off on me. I don't like saying Tomica. It's actually Tomica. Well, I mean, it, it, it depends on how you say it, but I think it said Tomica. But I don't know for sure. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on my next video. Remember, JDM Challenge. Bye.